How do you cap the best season in school history? How will you remember the best team to ever wear the orange and white? The answer can be found at the top of the ladder. The team. This Tennessee team will try to punctuate the best season in school history with the program's first conference tournament title in 40 years. And will try to prove that late season struggles were little more than a bump on the road to the Final Four. Tennessee takes the floor for the first time in Nashville. You're watching the SEC tournament on the SEC Network, all part of Champ Week. Mississippi State will try to slow down the ball's momentum and advance to the semifinal to take on Kentucky. Bulldogs, in dominating fashion, ended the season of Texas A&M, an 80-54 final in which State controlled the tempo and controlled the game. Florida and Auburn will get things started tomorrow at 1 o'clock on ESPN. The winner of this one draws the Wildcats from Kentucky for birth in the championship game. Welcome back courtside and welcome to the nightcap, everybody. Tom Hart, John Sunfold, Andy Kennedy. This has been one of the most enjoyable seasons in Tennessee history if you're a ball fan. And the players seem to be having fun as well. Well, they were disappointed a year ago when they got knocked out of the NCAA tournament. And they came back this year with a mission that's still going and everywhere they went they pretty much left their mark whether they were beating people in memphis whether they went to gatorland and did the chomp every road trip they were more tough they were tougher more physical and they were strong and they've had a terrific season so they've been flexing their muscles all season the one thing that hasn't happened for this Tennessee program is an SEC tournament championship. Not since this tournament resumed back in 1979. When Andy Kennedy had hair, it's been 40 years, AK. What would a title mean to Vol Nation? Hair, not only hair, but out of control hair. Rocking the mullet back in 79. I think it would mean a lot to Rick Barnes because of his senior-oriented team and this group that has transformed Tennessee basketball back to a national brand. What a better way to culminate that than to cut down the nets in your home state. For more on what Tennessee has accomplished and how they're ready for tonight, let's check in with Alyssa Lane. Yeah, guys, I just left the Tennessee locker room a couple of minutes ago, was chatting with head coach Rick Barnes, and one of the first questions I asked him was how they're going to handle playing so late. It's after 9.30 Eastern time. They're the last double by team to be playing on this Friday, and, and he said they're not too worried about it. Typically, you would be worried about your team coming out lethargic and not ready to play, but he said his guys are motivated. They are ready to make it to Sunday. As far as the matchup goes, he wants to see his guys go up-tempo quickly. On the other side, they don't want to see turnovers. Too many turnovers the last time they played Mississippi State. Coach Barnes said Mississippi State capitalized on that. A lot of points off of turnovers, so that's one thing that Tennessee's going to be looking to not do early. They should be rested. Rick Barnes gave him a day and a half off last week after the regular season concluded. Meanwhile, Mississippi State comes in on a little bit of a roll after they led wire to wire against Texas A&M. Quindary Weatherspoon went for 12 points. He leads the SEC with 19.4 points a game and struggled in the last time out against Tennessee. Turned the ball over eight times and was just one of five from three. Last words from Kyle Alexander. Meanwhile, Ben Hallen has been wildly successful in the postseason at every stop, including a great NIT run for these Bulldogs to give them postseason experience last year. Underway, Tennessee in their home state controls the tip. Bulldogs man-to-man -man defensively. They must contain Jordan Bone out front, and Lamar Peters could do that. Oh, wow. Cheap foul on Admiral Schofield. You hate to see that for the senior. 15 seconds in. Active hands. We call that a split. Lamar Peters would not allow the ball handler to split him defensively. Got a good steal. And to be clear, you're not saying it wasn't a foul. It's just unfortunate, yeah, unfortunate it happened at exactly. that time and place in the court. Exactly. Schofield fouled out last time Saturday at Auburn when Tennessee lost on the road to Bruce Pearl's team. Guys, what I'm looking for early is Q Weatherspoon to be aggressive. Great players in big games have to come out early. Q a lot of times sits back for the second half. Great start already for the shot. I think you got your answer. He must have been hearing you, Sonny, because <laughs> he got to his spot put it in the basket. 
Tennessee with back-to-back -back turnovers on their first two possessions. Rick Barnes told me yesterday the key for Tennessee would be their guard play. Grant Williams and Admiral Schofield have been so consistent for Tennessee over the course of this year. But over the last seven games, Lamonte Turner and Jordan Bowden, either one of them shooting better than 20% from three. They're not shooting well. And if I picked a player for this team to get to Minneapolis, it's Jordan Bowden. I don't want to put it on him, but when he comes off the bench and he's shooting it and doing things offensively, it's an entirely different team. Kyle Alexander is also a guy that's got to get back to his midseason productivity. He got that first rebound, anxious to see if he can stay in the game and avoid early foul trouble. Jordan Vaughn back home in Nashville off the mark with his first attempt. And we all know the Bulldogs are talented enough to compete with anybody in the country also. Here's Peters. And if his jump shot is going, it's a different team. 27 made threes in their last two outings, shooting at over 50% from behind the arc. If they're doing that with the athletes that they have on the floor, they'll go blow to blow with Tennessee. First three possessions, two turnovers and a missed shot for Tennessee. Make it 0 for 2 with those two turnovers. Peters on the run out. Great matchup, Bone and Peters, speed on speed. Weatherspoon slices him. Oh. Oh. I love it. I love it. We saw it in the first game with Tyler Hero. Special players make the game look easy. Sonny, you did it back in your day, and this guy right here makes the game look so easy. And I'll say it again, he does make it look easy. He's a second-half player, but if he comes out and gets it going early, it is much easier for his teammates to find opening. This kid can do it all. What he's gotten better at this year, off the dribble, making tough finishes around the rim. Brief interruption to adjust the shot clock, which hadn't, which hadn't started on the inbounds. Grant Williams, turnaround jumper. Good. One of the ways Rick Barnes will keep from doubling the post is he brings the entry pass from up top instead of the side. Yeah, and it's right up top. And here's the thing. Williams doesn't wait for a double team. He's got quick catch. He's got quick hops. He may not be tall, but he goes over most picks. Listed at 6-7. Peters splits the double. And the kick. Carter for three. So state the underdog in this one, and you figure they got to knock down open shots to hang with Tennessee. Yeah, AK said it before. They shot the ball well. They need to continue to shoot it well and shoot with confidence. No question, and that's Lamar Peters' MO. He loves to split the ball screen. Effective. Got a good look by Tyson Carter, who has really been shooting it well for the Bulldogs as of late. How about that matchup? Schofield and the King Weatherspoon. Two terrific players. They've had great careers for their university. In that 14-foot mid-post, Schofield has a definitive advantage. Yeah. Hugh Weatherspoon, four-time all-conference. General Schofield, first team this year. Peters with the quickness. And then a foul after he got rid of the basketball. Probably a turnover. Jordan Bowden enters the game. Perry stepped on the sideline on that possession. Bowden comes in with a little bit of confidence. Last two ball games, 12 points and 16. That was after a previous five of only averaging about four points a game. Has really struggled scoring, but he stretches that team on the offensive end. Grant Williams not afraid to shoot it from three. AK, not many can stay in front of Peters defensively one on one. And you can tell he's playing with a good swag himself. Nice bounce to his game. He's had good games, season finale, and the first game in the tournament. He's coming ready to play. As I was standing here watching him warm up, he was full of confidence. He was ready to go. Peters and Weatherspoon struggled last week against Tennessee. They combined for just 13. That can't happen for State tonight. Here's Lamonte Turner. Whip to Williams. And the ball challenged by Perry. Kyle Alexander puts it up and in. Tommy, Mississippi State has the size and athleticism to be a challenge for Grant Williams. He is an angles scorer right there trying to score directly over the top. Mississippi State is long enough to affect those shots. Weatherspoon posting up Bowden. Had to save it. It ends up with the Volunteers. Second turnover for State. Turner gives it right back, and then it's gifted to Tennessee. Grant Williams 
converts. That breaks your back a little bit if you're Ben Howland. Great initial defense, forcing another turnover, then you give it right back to the balls. Ben Hallen was sending in a play call as he walked up the sideline and he stepped on Robert Woodard's foot. Woodard waiting to check in the game. Peters drains from long Tough distance. Talk at all about confidence when he gets going like that. Hard to contain. Good sign for the Bulldogs mm. the way Lamar Peters has started this game. Yep. There's some tired bodies. Hadn't been a, hadn't been a timeout yet. You're probably talking about Andy Kennedy. How can I say speak for yourself? Is it showing that early Sunday? <laughs> well, Back to backs for me. Left it short. Interesting matchup. Williams on Weatherspoon. First opportunity for Tennessee in the open floor. You better stay in front of Jordan Bone. And Bone's a north-south player. He's not really east-west. He doesn't juke yet. He just goes straight dive to the rim. Jordan was telling me a couple of weeks ago he keeps defenders off balance, not by going by side to side, but changing up yeah. his speed, pace of dribble. Much better shooter than he's been in the past. Grant Williams finds a rebound. Guys are really tired, though. I'm going to tell you this. You know, you hear this in football all the time, Tom. When you're one-on-one, -on -one, Grant Williams right there just won his one-on-one. -on -one. Give me the ball. Create another opportunity for Tennessee off the offensive glass. If these were the Predators, they'd be begging for a shift change right now. Alexander inside. So are our sponsors. <laughs> yep, they'll get it. of subs waiting for the whistle there it is it's a foul on Lamar Peters back and forth affair a heavyweight matchup to close out this quarterfinal Friday in Nashville a hand breaded filet with the hot taste of Nashville introducing the new Zaxville hot filet sandwich for a limited time only at Zaxby's and don't miss Shazam Experience it in IMAX. Pain thinks it can overpower you, overwhelm you. It obviously doesn't know you. Icy hot. Icy is a dull, hot to relax. Are you going to let pain stop you? <laughs> I didn't think so. Icy hot. Rise from pain. SEC Network Basketball is brought to you by Zaxby's, Chicken Fingers, Buffalo Wings, Salads. Find a location at Zaxby's.com. What a fantastic sight for the SEC Tournament, Nashville, Tennessee, and Lower Broadway, where the fans have populated the taverns and all of the concert halls. It's a 10-9 lead for Tennessee inside Bridgestone Arena. Tom Hart, John Sunville, Andy Kennedy. And the two-time SEC Player of the Year, Grant Williams, under-recruited coming out of Providence Day School in Charlotte. The only three-time Player of the Year award winners, Pete Maravich and Bernard King. That is some elite company for Grant Williams already. Corliss Williamson was the most recent to do it for a guy who was considered considering mainly the Ivy League schools coming out of high school. I think he, even I could win with that team on the board. <laughs> you know, the key of Tom we talked about last night, if he comes back, he would have a chance maybe to win his third. And you you quickly said, and uh, maybe they'd build a statue. That's, well, yeah. That's, I mean, that's rarefied air. And if you're a, a student athlete, and thinking along that line, because obviously there's an NBA draft. No one knows where he would go. They think late first round, maybe he's a second round pick. I think he can play in the league, but it's the right place, right time. But 
Can you imagine being a three-time player of the year? It's incredible. Tennessee basketball has never won a national championship. They yeah. haven't been to the Final Four. This is rarefied air for them within the history of their program. In fact, they set a school record 19-game win streak earlier this season, part of starting conference play at 11-0. Yet, after all that, if they don't make it to the Final Four, there's going to be a portion of their fan base that turns their nose up at the season. And I think the players probably feel the same way that after last year and this year, and that call will go against the Volunteers, they expect, Rick Barnes expects to get back to the Final Four. Well, they've had a great year. They should expect. They're one of the top teams in the country. Ref said double touch. May have missed that one. Looked like Robert Woodard was the last to touch. Not reviewable, obviously, this early in the game. Mississippi State on the offensive end. They've got to have harder cuts because Tennessee's a good defensive team. They guys chase your ball side to side, cut through the lane. Now we're late in the clock. Tyson Carter's going to go have to make a play off the dribble. That ball in the air for a split second, trying to drop it off. And that one hit the rim for a reset. Perry in traffic. Blocked away by John Fulkerson. Ball. I'll say this. Fulkerson is a valuable asset. Nobody ever talks about No question. He's he so many good things. He's given him good minutes. He's given him good minutes off the bench. Big body, active body. I blame Andy Kennedy. He's in the studio every Saturday. But he's got plenty of free time. Schofield muscles his way in and then tips it in. What an athletic play by the Admiral. That's a senior uh, maybe just wanting to get a shot up. Kind of frustrated how things are going. He just took it amongst himself. Right, the degree, degree of difficulty was too high. No question, but he's always going to do one thing, Sonny. You know what that is. He is going to pursue balls. Yep. Eric Holman out to Carter. Pure shooter. He's got to keep shooting that shot. Holman frustration foul. He pushed Fulkerson to the floor. Tennessee starting to get it rolling. They lead by three here in Music City. Nashville, Tennessee, home of the SEC tournament. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Uh, Phil, are you guys good with breaks? We're okay. Just okay? We got a saying here. The brakes don't stop it, something will. That's not a real saying. It is around here. I wrote it. Just okay is not okay, especially when it comes to your network. AT&T is America's best wireless network, according to America's biggest test. Now with 5G Evolution, the first step to 5G. More for your thing. That's our thing. At Papa John's, we've added six new pizzas to our handcrafted specialty menu, like the meatball and pepperoni, which means there's something for everyone. And right now, get any large specialty for just 12 bucks. So get all your friends together, or as we call them, taste buds. Support your favorite college at Fanatics.com, the largest assortment of officially licensed fan gear from more than 500 colleges. Every conference, every team. Shop now and get today's special offer. Fanatics.com, officially licensed everything. Mississippi State has put together another 20-win season. They return to the top 25 for the first time in seven years this season, all under the direction of Ben Howland. And he will be the 12th coach ever to lead four schools to the NCAA tournament. Did it with Northern Arizona, Pitt, and of course, a remarkable run at UCLA. After two years away from coaching, got into the TV business a little while, said, I don't want to deal with guys like Tom. I want to get back into coaching. <laughs> After taking UCLA to three consecutive Final Fours, what's always impressed me about him, go all the way back to Northern Arizona where they shot the three a ton, is he's... He's uh, adjusted his style. Yeah, to whatever talent is on the floor and the times of the game. Well, that's what good coaches do. They make the necessary adjustments. He's done a tremendous job in year four of building this Mississippi State program back to a, to a one that's going to be a good seed in the NCAA tournament. They've got an opportunity if they can stay around for a day or two here in Nashville to get all the way up to that four or five line. And I would bet if they lose this game tonight, I don't know where they're going to end up, but they're going to be under seated because they're going to show up and that other team is going to say really we've got these guys to get ready for no question a lot of weapons on this mississippi state team and i think they're playing some of their best basketball as we close this season out that, that first weekend the teams that find mississippi state in their bracket are going to find a team that's got size they've got speed 
They've got unbelievable guys who can score the ball. Not just one. They got many options. And this is a team, and we talked about it last night. They won three games last year, the NIT, to get to that Final Four, which is tournament experience. They beat good squads. Nebraska, Baylor, Louisville. I mean, you, you talk, okay, so that's group. They know what it's like to be under pressure and under the gun at the one and done league. And you've got a senior, a special player in Kandare Weatherspoon, closing yeah. in on 2,000 points, has never been to the NCAA tournament. He is playing with that sense of urgency that you want to see out of your leader. Here's Amro Schofield sharing it. Lamonte Turner looking for room. Grant Williams will check in at the next dead ball. I th I've been impressed, Sonny, early with Mississippi State in the half-court defense. Really does a been. good job. Hey, that's great analysis right there. We talk about how great they are. Give up a dunk off a baseline drive. Great drive. Focus in right place. Bulldogs have been good, though, defensively at helping on the weak side ball. Turner's got, Turner's got to stay in front of Peters, and it's almost a nightmare if he, if he dances and makes jump shots. But that one's wide right. Well, State has started one for seven from deep. Peters can't settle. That's a settle. He's settling going to his right. Look at him. He's raising his hand, saying, either my fault or get me out, coach. Probably my fault. He doesn't want to come out. Great drive right there. Good finish. Drawing the help. And your man Fulkerson, the unsung hero, right where he's supposed to be, good strong finish. And you know this, at times we talk defensively, the weak side help coming. And if I've got the ball, I've got to know where they're coming from. The other part is my teammates got to know where they're coming from and find openings. No question. That. No question. Weatherspoon committed a foul a moment ago. Now he gets the takeaway. And with a burst, he'll get into the paint, but passes it to Fulkerson. Got to try to finish that play to the rim. The Fulkerson factor, he's taken over since you've given him props, John. Hey, I love it. Sophomore from Kingsport, Tennessee, with a red shirt year. He got off to a great start down in Maui for Tennessee a couple years ago. There's Andrew Schofield for three. Ben Howland's got to use a timeout. Ben Goins with a big start. Tennessee on a 9 0 run. And if Admiral Schofield shoots it like this, like he did against Gonzaga when he hit six threes and had 30 points, stretches the defense, they move the ball, he steps that far out, it is tough for an opponent to challenge that. There is zero back down from the Admiral. If a fight broke out in here tonight, I'm running to his side. <laughs> <laughs> if a fight breaks out, he might be trying to fight you. <laughs> and he'd have, he might have to get in line. I'm not as dumb as I look. <laughs> Tennessee on a 9 nothing run. It's been a sensational season at Rocky Top. They have built a championship program. They shared the title with Auburn last year and suffered only three conference losses this season. But Rick Barnes has a team that's a little bit banged up and energy you thought was an issue for him early on. Yeah, early in this game, but again, that's usually that first night playing. They got plenty of rest this week. Guys have had a lot of minutes, but players focus on what happened last year and that disappointment. They got the rest they needed this week. No question. Now they're gearing up. What has to happen is Mississippi State's got to have an answer. You know, Rick Barnes has done an incredible job. I was a Big 12 announcer for many, many years, so I've known Rick a long time and watched what he did at Texas. Same kind of thing. He took guys that may not be five stars, and he built a terrific program at Texas before coming to Tennessee. So if the coaching style is the same, has Barnes' temperament changed over the years? It has changed in the last few years, and he would tell you that. He's been very open about it. A little bit more relaxed. A little more relaxed, took away the stress of the business. AK could tell you all about that kind of stuff. And part of that is recruiting guys that he wants playing within his program. A couple of three-star guys like Grant Williams and Jordan Bowen have turned into superstars. Peters is fouled. Department Perry is fouled, and he'll go to the line. SEC now crew earning their scholarships. They'll be around again after the game for another hour-long show. Dari is their ringleader. Pat, Damian, Antoine and AK, they're getting more out of you tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go and after this sprint over, do a little high jump back up on the podium. Nobody covers the SEC like we do with people that nobody else has. SEC now is also available on the ESPN app. 
They look engaged, don't they? Ooh. <laughs> Those are our experts. That's why I have to go back. You know, producers never watch the game. They just tell you. Yeah, they you they just plug about. stuff in. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> rumor, rumor has it. Ball was blocked by Peters. Ends up with Holman. Mississippi State has allowed a 9-0 Tennessee run. They need some buckets. They've had a few dry possessions. They need to get better initial ball movement. That's a good way to finish a drought. All get freshman, it to that guy. All freshman team this year. Love him. Reggie You're talking Barry. about improvement. He has made huge improvements as this season has gone on. It's going to be a tremendous player. We'll hang around after that slam and a high percentage look. He is the best in the SEC, Sonny. Yeah, he really and is. establishing low post position and spinning to his strong hand. And all I would do if I'm Reggie Perry when the season's over is get all the tape I can get and, and just watch time after time all summer of Grant Williams. State fans wanted a push up. They didn't get it. Well, they go back inside to number two, the player of the year. Holman's all over. And then. An ill-advised pass. Peters, the lefty. Grant Williams with the play call. A little loose with the ball there by Tennessee. Mississippi State takes advantage. Williams holding Weatherspoon on that screen. Alexander from Schofield. Pretty good start for Alexander. We talked about that. that, no doubt. Yep. He's a guy that mid-season was playing off the charts. Uh, has had a little dip in production, but has been good as we've started this game. And Tennessee is putting a ton of pressure on the interior players of this Bulldog squad. Andy, I need Q Weatherspoon kind of talk too. I mean, I think he's got to get getting more involved offensively. I agree. He has not touched the ball as of late. And if they have any chance to advance, he's got to be a difference maker. Yeah. Weatherspoon was held to a season low seven in a previous meeting with Tennessee. Grant Williams has eight. Too many second chance opportunities. That's a 50 50 mm -hmm. ball. Anybody's ball, Tennessee gets it. Extra possession, make them pay. Peters over Williams. Settle for the jump shot. He's got Perry down low with uh, Lamonte Turner going. Perry, couple of dunks. He's got four. We've got a timeout on the floor. Mississippi State is closed within six. Timeout, Mississippi State. The two time SEC player of the year, Grant Williams, getting deep and getting high percentage looks, hanging around in the paint, trying to lead Tennessee back to the semis. Call it what you will the T shot, the first strike, the big draw. Or the high fade. Here, it's more. The determination of a legend, the ambition of an amateur, the push of the contender, and the will of the champion. It's the lane they all share for the place they all seek. All part of the drive at the match. How about that? <laughs> this is where you want to be. Favorites making noise. This is unbelievable. New favorites making a name. Cameron Chan is the winner. Everybody connected. The race for the FedEx Cup. PGA Tour's ultimate prize continues. Ten years ago, I had an undiagnosed heart condition, and erectile dysfunction was actually the first sign that something was wrong. Luckily, I'm a doctor, an expert in sexual health, and Zach's dad. Not everyone has a doctor in the house, and some health conditions can be really tough to talk about. We started Roman to change that. Now you can go online and chat with a physician. And if treatment is right for you, we'll ship FDA-approved medication right to your door. If you're experiencing ED, hair loss, cold sores, or other issues, let's take care of it. Well, for Tennessee, it's been one fly. We all fly. 
It's a um, motto that speaks to their team relationship and it's how they start every game, a trend that's not only gone to the NBA and throughout college basketball, but throughout Ball Nation. The tennis team getting in on the fun with a smash, the track team getting in with a high jump, everybody that's timing awesome. their leaps, and even in the natatorium. So what do they do tonight? They handed the ball off to their strength coach, Garrett Maidenwall. They call him G, and G with the lefty <laughs> throwdown. Wow. Great job, by the way, by our dear friend, oh, Matty Blab, the BFL Films, who put together that edit on everything else and the folks in the truck. That's a fun time, because this should be fun. No question. A lot of box jumps right there to get that guy up there to dunk. <laughs> Steve Ponch might be the best dunker on the team. Rick Barnes tell me yesterday, we got to get him going on the offensive end. Got to get him some confidence. And it just seems like Barnes is looking for that, that third score, that third threat, some consistency. And Ponch has only scored, he's been scoreless in eight SEC games. Most of his buckets are dunks. They're around the rim. Yeah. Now he's got to get out of the break and finish some things, and maybe that gets his confidence going. Well, I will tell you, you hear it all the time, Sonny. Oh, coach has got to help you with confidence. Confidence is like cash. You got to have some to get some, and it's about demonstrated ability. If he'll knock a couple down, he will then become more confident. North Mecklenburg Zone has plenty of confidence in cash. Here's Alyssa. It's a couple Mississippi State timeouts ago, the coaching staff was getting on their guys about offensive rebounding. In that last timeout, they were happier with the last couple of possessions and their performance off the boards, emphasizing, hey, this game is going to be one at the rim. You guys have to dominate off the glass. Especially on the offensive end, a guy like Reggie Perry getting up close looks. Bowden, great D. Shot clock at four. This is where he likes it, though. That key area, good D by Abdullah Duke. Tipped up, though, credit Alexander. Pounding inside on the glass. The Bulldogs are actually too athletic and too big to allow that to happen. Tennessee now up 12-4 on second chance points. Wow. They have struggled shooting the three ball, but this guy can maybe open it up. 40% from deep for Eric Holman. They're just two for nine from back there. You know, Tom, they've missed seven in a row. If you remember, Lamar Peters hit the game's first three, seven straight until that last make by Eric Holman. Mississippi State is only down by five. Peters, floater. Love the drive. Even though he missed it, I love the drive to a strong hand. Got a good look at the basket. Four on three for Tennessee. Boy, how closely they get to Bowden. They don't want him to get going. Good defense by Tyson Carter. I'd like to see Jordan Bowden. Jordan Bowden be a little more aggressive in the open floor. I Jordan like that shot Bowden. right there. Product of Carter High School, straw planes. A difference maker. I just said when he plays well, this ball team is off the charts. You're right, John. Another offensive option that is capable of exploding at any moment. Abdul Adu gets it to go. A one seed already lost tonight. Virginia lost in the semis of the ACC to Florida State. Right now, North Carolina, a possible one, is at a 10 point lead on Duke. This is a heavyweight battle here. No these, question. These guys, they're here, toe to toe. They're guys going at each other. High level athletes on the court. As we've seen throughout this league, this is the most athletic league in the country. I've yes, said no that from doubt. day one. Athletes across the board, nothing is going to be easy. You got to earn your way in the SEC. Schofield back. Grant Williams, the player of the year, will take a break. Shot clock at nine. It's now at four. Ball on Perry. And Woodard brings it down. Woodard, aggressive, another freshman. They love his intensity. Reggie Perry did a good job against Jordan Bone mm -hmm. of containing that bounce on that late switch into the clock.
And Derry Weatherspoon's been quiet lately. Wanted the foul. Didn't get it. It was a strip for Turner. And now, foul. Ooh. And State lost the handle on it. Missed opportunities for the Bulldogs of Mississippi State, but they're right there with the number eight ranked team in the country and a three seed in this tournament. The Tennessee Volunteers. A trip to the semis awaits the winner of this one with Kentucky back at the hotel waiting for them tomorrow. I think I found my dream car. It turns out they want me to start next month. She can stay with you to finish your senior year. Things will be tight, but we can make this work. Now. Grandpa, what about your dream car? This is my dream now. <laughs> Principal, we can help you plan for that. here in just a few minutes. Dory, Pat, Fish, and Antoine. We'll take you through the other three games of the day, set up the semifinal that we know, and we'll talk about Kentucky's performance because they get the winner of this one, but what do you see here? I thought game changed for Tennessee. 18 points in the paint. Their physicality yeah. took over. Yeah, they're doing what Mississippi State should do. They've got the link. Lamar Peters has to make better decisions. Too many and Aaron shots for me right now. I also agree. Owning the glass. Guys, we'll see you in a few. Two, four, number one seeds sitting at the desk. They'll be around at the half. Two, my math is way off. I meant four, one seeds. But Joe Lenardi says these are the one seeds right now. He's got North Carolina the fourth number one. And as of this moment, North Carolina with an 11-point lead at Duke. Michigan State on the outside looking in, as is Tennessee now. But as much as we respect Joey Brackets, we know that tomorrow's game between Tennessee, if they should win, and Kentucky will play a big part in who's the number one there. If Tennessee loses this one, they're stuck as a two. Agree? Agree. Yeah, no doubt. I didn't know this was Are interaction. You guys paid for I, this I was game? about to say, I didn't know this was here? interaction. I was just listening I'm to the I'm on a word count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should have put you on a pitch count before you even got to Nashville. <laughs> Magic Johnson in the building tonight. Interesting to see what Tom Gizzo's Michigan State Everybody team Everybody likes do. to say the GOAT of our people. Yeah. Why isn't he the GOAT? There he is. Tell me you wouldn't take him as the first pick of everybody that's ever played. Do you think he's talking about uh, LeBron's load limits right now? <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. Don't play him less record. Let's get in the sweepstakes. It, it speaks to the quality of talent in this league and on this court to have Magic Johnson fly in. But I am truthful night. when they, his name's not mentioned. That As, bothers, oh, that bothers you a little bit? Yeah, of course. Yeah, because there was, <laughs> there was never been anybody like him. Top five player of all time. Hey, the, dude, the dude had 42 points as a point guard, but he played center his rookie year at 20 years old to win the NBA championship. And he transformed the game. He was yeah. more than just a player. Yeah. Green was out with an injury. That was... He jumped center, did his hook shots in there, 42 points. I remember. Gets a yeah. couple after the 76ers. That was the last time I that happened about the last time that Tennessee won the SEC tournament. Yeah, I was about 10 or 11, you know, 12. To be fair, should we talk about later. Rob Palinka's playing career now, too? Or we're good? Go ahead. Okay. It'll be a short conversation. See what Michigan's doing today. Lamonte Turner open on the cut. Wow. Reverses it in. Great cut. Woodard got caught trailing all the way through. He was trailing a shooter, right? Turner can go outside, but he goes inside. The special teams, help. the special help. teams yep. of college basketball, inline OBs, good execution there by the volunteers. Peters off the mark. Peters stumbled. I mean, he might have turned his ankle on that. Boy, it'd be no fun guarding Peters. He'd make you relace your shoes a few times. What a great pass. Great rim run by Grant Williams. Left-handed Jordan Bone. Terrific pass, terrific finish. 
Tennessee has a way of taking the confidence out of their opponent. I got to have a Weatherspoon sighted. It's a long two. Got to be more aggressive with the ball. Peters tracks it down. Chooses for three early in the clock. And here comes Bone straight down. Ooh, he person. knows what to do about it. Weatherspoon slides through. Big swing right there, John. Huge. I thought Bone could have finished the play. Unselfish. Bowden can't get the dunk down. Just like that, four-point swing. My partner Tom Hart was jumping. He was ready to jump out of the seat. One fly, we all fly. Yes. Williams has it blocked. There we go. But do. Great hands, great shot blocker. The bucket a moment ago from Quindary Weatherspoon was his first in 16 minutes. That's what I want to see. I want him to be aggressive. I want him to put it on the floor, make guys stay in front of him and challenge him. Q Weatherspoon, as Sade would say, no need to ask. He's a smooth operator. I don't think anybody knows who Sade is anymore. I know hey. who Sade is. Do you know who Sade is? I do. All three of us. <laughs> As, are there five, I, got, I got five hands at the table. <laughs> so you got six. I got six. Can I get a six? six. Seven, eight, 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 eight. 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 Here we we're, go. We're bailed out. The millennial Alyssa Lane knows who he is. She is. Sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Wendary, another one coming. He makes it look easy, though. Oh, We've said it. Done. I mean, that is a very difficult shot to make, yeah. changing directions across his body. But something has changed, right? He's taking two jumps. He's now in. That's He's right. aggressive with it. He's back. He and guess what? The, the Bulldogs back are again. back as yes. well. Yes. Puck faking a drive. Schofield off the feet. You got to guard the bounce, though. You can't give them that look. Great penetration by Lamonte Turner. Ten-second difference between the shot and game clocks. High screen for Q. Shot clock at six. He never penetrated. Launches the three. And Perry finds it. A feed inside. Water gets fouled. Great job of pursuing a long rebound by Reggie Perry. Gets them an extra opportunity at a critical juncture as we close out this first half. You know, Bowden defends Weatherspoon well. You just want to get in the shooter's face. He got right to the hand on the release. Q wanted a call, didn't get it. This is big, Sonny. Freshman at the line. Yep. Got to cash in these free ones. Yeah, you you got to get a spare, get this thing to five, and get a stop. Tennessee with an opportunity for the last shot of the half. Tennessee still hasn't shot a free throw in this half. It's an incredible stat, you know, what you, you said. Big, strong team goes to the rim, head shot, free throw. Mm, two big misses. Adu keeps alive. Six on the clock. Here's Peters. Trying to shake He loves to dance. With one left. Blocked. Perry leads it short. A flurry at the end. Mississippi State hanging with the eighth-ranked team in the country in the three-seed. Can we get our third upset of the day? We'll find out in the second half. Rick Barnes is with Alyssa Lang. Coach, you were emphasizing no turnovers at the start of this game. What do you want to see change in the second half? The same thing. We got to take care of We had unforced turnovers. We just threw the ball away. We got to take care of the ball. Happy with your ball movement on offense? It was okay again, but we again, we big flurry. We missed the dunk. We get them layup, plays like that, and then offensive rebounds from free, missed free throws. Thanks, Coach. Six point lead at the half for Tennessee. Shot eight, call me. <laughs> That's easy enough. Dari, please help us out. Take the next 14 minutes and 50 seconds. Wait a second. I want you to know I fully appreciated the Sade reference. There's no question. <laughs> you guys aren't the only ones that got that one. You know that's a band, not one person. 
No, it's not, is it? I thought, it was, the, see if you I thought it was the woman. That's not a man. The whole, the whole group stop is it, called Shot Day. Bradley, not just stop me. it. The whole group is. Stop it. 34 28, sure. Sure. Tennessee here. It feels like, Twan, there were many opportunities that lead could have expanded into 10, 12 points. It never did. How come? Mississippi State did a good job of strapping, I mean, getting their hands on loose balls, turning Tennessee over. Tennessee has six turnovers. But Tennessee has to be. With Tennessee, you got to be a lot more aggressive. And it comes from Kadero Westbrook. I know at the end he got going, he shot a few shots. I want to see him have 15, 16 shots there. He's got to be aggressive. Because you look at Tyson Carter, Tyson Carter, who's just a standstill spot up shooter. He's 0 for 4, 0 for 3 from the 3. You've got to get, you got to be aggressive. This is his night. This is Kadero Westbrook's night to try to lead this team. And Lamar Peters has to slow down and control the tempo of this game. Antoine, I thought Tennessee was the more physical team. I really did. I thought they dominated as far as the glass. They they, they oh, I think we're plus eight on the glass plus six points in the paint that's why I determine who's the more physical team and Tennessee also has less length but they went inside if I'm Mississippi State take home and get him down there on the block the same thing with Reggie Perry then play the game inside out and let the guard shoot from the perimeter it was a one-point game to your point it was a one-point game when Rick Barnes entered in Jordan Bowden Fulkerson and Eves Pawn, the flying Frenchman. From that point on, they were able to take control of the game. It was the, from a defensive standpoint, they pushed everything outside three-point line for Mississippi State. Now, right now, the lead is six. The winner gets Kentucky in the second semifinal on Saturday. That's a player right there. Well, you are kidding, because Kentucky took care of business against Alabama. And a game Alabama had to have, but how about Tyler Hero? and what he has provided, particularly over the last month or so, guys, from all over the floor, not just outside the arc. Little left-handed hesitation. He left-handed, he shoots a three. He gets a nice little step back to the baseline. He loves that area, and he takes that left hand and goes straight to the hole with it. I don't know, Pat Bradley. Tyler Hero might give you buckets. He oh, looks okay. nice hey, now. Hey, don't make me lace up these shoes right now. <laughs> Where is he? The hotel? What hotel are they at? Let me get him. How about 20 for him? Guys, Texas A&M did what had been speculated for a couple of days now. They did fire head basketball coach Billy Kennedy. Kennedy's time at College Station is over after eight seasons. Their season ended last night and they lost to the Mississippi State team we are watching right now. Texas A&M Athletics Director Scott Woodward released the following statement. Billy's tenure included some great memories and remarkable achievements. He represented our program at Texas A&M University with distinction. Without question, Billy Kennedy is a first-class person. On behalf of Aggies everywhere, my thanks to Billy and his family for his service to Texas A&M. I wish him the very best. It is Tennessee by six. Grant Williams with 10 points, three rebounds, playing like the league's back-to-back -back player of the year. Back in a moment. Hello, friend. Al Fernell here. I want to tell you about this box of Fernell's old folks' quick frozen country sausage patties. It's outstanding in its feel. Get a box of Old Folks Country Sausage Patties. Keep them frozen, and when you're ready, place the frozen patties in the skillet. It unlocks the flavor as it thaws and cooks. It's made right. Tastes like country sausage ought to taste. Keep Purnell's Old Folks Sausage in your freezer, and you're ready for a treat many times. Because it's good. Everyone knows the general for his affordable auto insurance. And everyone knows Shaq as a basketball Hall of Famer. But I bet you didn't know we're competitive hedge trimmers. Perfection. Impressive. Check out mine. You've also mastered the art of meditation. Om. Or a great low ray. So those weren't your strong suits. <laughs> but at least you're great at providing coverage to people who've let their insurance lapse. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the general and save some time. It means sacrifice, and not just for my family and friends, but for everybody. It's doing research that'll really help people. Putting in the hours, pushing myself so I can be a better teammate. Knowing that the work I do today isn't just for me. Being a Tennessee volunteer means giving light to others, giving your all, and I love that I get to be a part. I like to know I'm getting the best deal, so I shop around. She shops and compares everything. I do. Appliances, flights, 
shoes, meats and cheeses. Literally everything. Before I married Dave, I probably dated hundreds of guys. Hundreds of guys. That's why I go to LendingTree.com for any kind of loan. They make lenders compete for your business. You know the difference between these two rates? $24,000. When you say hundreds of guys, you mean closer to like nine, right? Nope. Lending Tree made the best loan win. This is a hernia mesh legal alert. If you experienced problems following hernia repair that resulted in removal of the hernia mesh, you may have a case. Call 1-800-296-1275 for a free case evaluation. Listen, parents, I know, I know trampolines are an eyesore. I know they're a safety risk. I know they kill all the grass underneath them. <laughs> but you never know what they could allow your child to do when they grow up. Oh, this is it? This is the dream? This is it. He shouldn't get extra points being on a <laughs> snowboard. He's too old to be doing it. All right, let's go. LSU taking on Florida. LSU got honored as regular season champions. Nas Reed hits the three to tie the game. And then Andrew Nimhard with a massive three, which ended up being the game winner. And Florida gets 20 from the freshman to win it, 76 to 73. This is the last chance for LSU. But frankly, it is not giving them a chance at a shot. 76-73. Florida gets the win. So they move on to a semi in this tournament for the first time in five years. Now, Auburn trying to go for the first time in four years, taking on South Carolina. And got, this was a close game virtually the entire way, but second half, Auburn starts banging in the three. For me, it was Jared Harper's game to control. He led them in points. He got six rebounds, led them in assists. He just broke down this defense from the start. Horace Spencer, three from the wing. Good. They hit 13 of their 34 three-point attempts. Yeah, for Auburn, the recipe for Coach Bruce Pearl has always been their 10 is better than your 10. Whatever they've been cooking in March has been smelling pretty good, darling. <laughs> so you, oh! You know, you get the old 8-5 semifinal matchup of, again, two teams that have not been in this point in this tournament in a number of years. Five years for Florida, four for Auburn. That'll be the first semifinal. You can see it at 1 o'clock Eastern. Noon, local here in Nashville on ESPN. All right, getting closer to tipping off for the second half. Lamar Peters doing his best to keep State close. He's got seven. They trail by six. Back to the Music City in a moment. That's an awesome camera shot. I enjoyed drawing and designing things and wasn't 100% sure what architecture would be like in school. But once I got here to LSU and kind of got a semester of it under my belt, I realized it's exactly what I wanted to be doing. They really helped uh, sort of adapt the schedule to help me be able to do both football and architecture. With football, you're not going to get anywhere unless you've got a great work ethic, a great attitude, and it's the same with architecture. It was a tough road, but uh, worth every step. Welcome to the Hall of Allergies. Today, we take a stroll down memory lane to see how these other OTC medicines compare to Zizol, the latest in 24-hour allergy relief. You see, Zizol lasts up to six times longer than Benadryl, works faster than Claritin, and on first dose, provides the same relief as Zyrtec at nearly half the size. So for the latest and powerful relief that's just as effective at hour 24 as at hour 1, be wise all. Take Zizol. Sir, please don't touch the exhibit. Check it out. Our unlimited plan on the brand new Samsung Galaxy S10. Ooh, premium entertainment on the infinity screen. People have seven different premium entertainment options to choose from. Because people are different. Like how you cut the crust off your sandwiches and I eat them. And I'm pretty laid back and casual and you iron your jeans. I'm actually very happy you noticed that. Cool. That's cool. AT&T is the only unlimited plan that gives you your choice of top tier entertainment. Buy a new Galaxy S10 Plus and get one free. More for your thing. That's our thing. You work hard to build a better life and a better world. Now you can do both. By ditching your big bank and switching to Aspiration, you'll get cash back on every dollar you spend and extra rewards for shopping at businesses with a conscience. 
And Aspiration trusts you to pay only the fee you think we deserve, even if it's zero. So use any ATM in the world for free. Switch at Aspiration.com. Save money, save the planet. for 60 minutes we will recap everything that happened on this quarterfinal day at the sec tournament get you set for the two semifinals on saturday sade is a band <laughs> let, <laughs> let that set in i can't we're sorry thank you <laughs> right now at belk we invite you to share the bowls share the vibe share the flirty Shop this season's hottest new trends during our anniversary sale, now at Belk. Driving without car insurance? Sooner or later, your luck will run out. Someone will ask for proof of insurance, and if you don't have it, it'll cost you a hefty fine, your license, your car, even jail time. Why chance it? As little as 20 bucks down gets you covered with good to go auto insurance. It's fast, easy, and cheap because you buy just what you need to be legal. Visit goodtogo.com for a free rate quote now. That's goodtogo.com. Right now at Belk, share the bowl during our anniversary sale with week-long doorbusters. Buy one, get one free women's crown and ivy apparel and 55% off select men's sportswear. Shop our anniversary sale going on now at Belk and Belk.com. where you want to be. Fantastic. Favorites making noise. This is unbelievable. New favorites making a name. Cameron Chan is the winner. Everybody connected. The race for the FedEx Cup. PGA Tour's ultimate prize continues. Hey guys, if you're experiencing erectile dysfunction, you can now get treated anywhere. Like here, 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 even here. Okay, maybe not there. That's why we built Roman, so it's easy to get ED meds prescribed online delivered to your door. Just visit GetRoman.com, chat with a U.S. licensed physician, and you'll get FDA-approved medication delivered in discreet packaging. Roman, let's take care of it. Get started with your free online visit at GetRoman.com slash TV. Well, Tennessee with a six-point advantage on the half against Mississippi State as we play our final quarterfinal of the day here in Nashville to try to set the two semis. We already know Florida will match up with Auburn in the first game tomorrow, 1 o'clock on ESPN, and then Kentucky awaits the winner of this one. Tom Hart, John Sunbrook, Andy Kennedy, Alyssa Lang is along as well. So what do you say about Tennessee so far? Grant Williams with 10 points to lead the squad. Never shot a single free throw despite being a team that plays primarily on the inside. Especially one that plays smash mail basketball, but their front court, Grant Williams, Admiral Schofield, and Kyle Alexander have exploded for 27 of the Volunteers' 34 first half points, and they've been very efficient in doing so, 13 for 22 from the field. 
So Bone trying to penetrate for Tennessee as well, and the points in the paint have been advantage for the Volunteers. Meanwhile, on the other side, Quindary Weatherspoon, the Q factor, has always been a key for Mississippi State. Eight in the first half. Is he being aggressive enough? He is now. He turned it up about at the eight, seven minute mark towards the end of the first half. He became more aggressive off the bounce, made a couple shots from outside. He's got eight points. He only had seven points in the first matchup in the loss in the regular season. The thing is, when you mention the Q factor, when he scores over 20, they're 27 and four. Q taking the next step, brought to you by Regions Bank. Let's check in with Alyssa. Yeah, guys, you mentioned aggressiveness, and Coach Howland said that was something he tried to hammer home in the locker room at halftime. He said the refs aren't really blowing their whistle. You guys are gonna have to be aggressive in the paint. The word he used was battle. He said, again, off the glass is going to be what the, make the difference in this game. We'll see if that turns out to be the case. Mississippi State, the turnover. Bone out front. So unselfish. Big mistake right there by Lamar Peters. Tries to go behind his back. Secondary defender deflects, leads to an open floor layup. First bucket for Bone. Quindary Weatherspoon underneath, reverses it in. Got great patience, understands where guys are, is with a shot blocker. He controls his pace, that's what's great about it. He needs to stay engaged this entire yes, 20 minutes. Great start for him, though. Finish the half strong, good start for him. If, I'm a, bull, if I'm a Bulldog fan, I want it in Q's hands a lot, let him run the show from outside. Offensive board, Alexander. Weatherspoon on the right wing. Tyson Carter, 0 of 4 in the first half, 0 of 3 behind the three-point line. Not nearly as good. Un uncharacteristic yeah, for him. because he's been really playing well, especially in lieu of the Nick Weatherspoon suspension. He's taking up that slack. Good pass right there. Right. Freshman. Perry with three. The suspension you mentioned, Nick Weatherspoon, his brother, has missed the last eight games for Mississippi State. A great defensive player. Entry to Grant Williams deep. Blocked by Abdul Adu. Great size and length at the basket. Terrific shot blocker in Abdullah Du. Blocks nearly two shots a game. Seventh ranked in the SEC. Carter fouled on the jumper, and he'll go to the free throw line with a chance to tie the game. And what gets a shooter going if they're struggling? Get to the free throw line. Just get your confidence. No question. See the ball, go in the basket, establish a rhythm. And if you look, we were talking about it at the half. If you looked at the halftime stats, 12 to 6, assist to turnover Tennessee. They're winning the battle of the glass. They're shooting close to 50%, and yet they're only up 6. Now the game's about to be tied up. Mississippi State's in a great position. Yep. Tyson Carter is scoreless to this point. Two more free throws coming his way. Junior from Starkville High School, the former Yellow Jacket. His dad was a big time player. Greg Carter. Score that ball. About 30 years ago. One more coming for Tyson Carter. The foul is on Bone. Two out of three. Bone dishes to Williams. Will take his time. If you're Mississippi State, that's where you want Grant Williams. In the far corner, not on that block. Peters to Weatherspoon. Grant Williams to Bone. A burst of speed for Bone, and the feed to Schofield. Great speed, great separation, great decision. The Admiral always running. And Bone can put so much pressure on a defensive team. They're on their heels when he attacks. Out to Peters for three. Got you. Sonny, I really like it when Q Weatherspoon's at the top initiating plays. Last night, he almost had a double-double with 12 points and nine assists. I was thinking the same thing, and it allows Peters to slide off and get more set in his shot and not dance so much with the ball. So I agree. 38 all. We're tied for the first time since it was six all. 
There's the speed that just is an attacking mode. And so if you're a defender back, you got to make a choice. Am I going to stop the ball or try to just make a play at the rim on the smaller player? Maybe you try to do that defensively. Game-changing speed. Jordan Bone in line to in line is as fast as there is in college basketball. Off the curl, Bone dumps to Williams for the dunk. Tennessee back in front. Assist to Bone, who leads the SEC with six dimes a game. I think that was his seventh already in this game, Tom, making good decisions with the basketball. Turner got his hand on it. It was stay with Mississippi State. This is a team that plays like a team. Yeah, he curls off the down screen, and they know Bone's going to curl it, maybe get to the lane for an easy one. You step up to help, it's too late. They're unselfish. He knows how to make the right pass at the right time. You know it's a cardinal rule as a big. You never help up. Abdullah yep. do help up. Therefore, there's no one to rotate to your man. Leads to an uncontested dunk by the player of the year in the SEC. Peters with a step-back air ball. Mississippi State hung with Tennessee when they last matched up. But then Tennessee early in the second half went on a massive run and missed opportunity. Exact same action, Sonny. They had the same thing. Just turned it over. Reggie Perry that time helps up. Pass a little hot. Fulkerson couldn't grab it. Mississippi State, and I'm sure Coach Allen will adjust, but anytime there's a single pin down, the big guarding the screener cannot help up. It's going to leave Tennessee open at the basket. Schofield on Weatherspoon. What a great matchup. Keep an eye on him. Carter got it to roll. Nice. On cue. We talked about it. Made a couple free throws. Yep. A little more confident. Exhale. Makes a play off the bounce. Go field wide. Bone with the shake. Alexander. He's been Tennessee's MVP to this point, Sonny. And, and Bone's got such a feel right now of what's going on in the half court set. We talked about it. You know, Kyle Alexander has not been producing at a normal rate as of late. Already close to a double double. Turnover by Weatherspoon. They weren't on the same page. Got to hold your post position. Bone floater. Woodard, the leak out to Carter. Home run pass for the jam. Terrific pass. Unbalanced on the offensive end for Tennessee. Guy went to the hole. Nobody got back defensively. Penetration by Bone. Yep. He shoots a floater. Who is your four balance guy? Your yep. point guard. Poor communication. So a teammate has to see that. Exactly. And it's got to be Jordan Bowden because Tennessee's got their big lineup in. Schofield at the three with the two bigs. Bowden's got to see that. Didn't. Cost him an easy one. Tyson Carter now with a couple of baskets in a row. Shot clock at four. Bone will fire. Whoa! And a word and a smile for Carter. Jordan Bone, the Nashville native, with a smile as wide as the Cumberland. His first field goal. feeling the answer he didn't get it Bone is firing his team up big orange faithful on their feet and now it's turned into a back and forth affair Mississippi State got the breakout jam from Carter that got the Bulldogs rolling and then Bone trying to silence the maroon My man, making simple, smart cash back choices. With Quicksilver from Capital One, you're earning unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase everywhere. Like on that new laptop. Quicksilver keeps things simple, Gary. And smart. 
Like you! <laughs> and I like that! I guess I am pretty smart. Don't let that go to your head, Gary. What's in your wallet? At Papa John's, we've added six new pizzas to our handcrafted specialty menu, like the meatball and pepperoni, which means there's something for everyone. And right now, get any large specialty for just 12 bucks. So get all your friends together, or as we call them, taste buds. Sports fans are gearing up at Fanatics.com, the world's largest collection of officially licensed fan gear from all the leagues, teams, and players you love. Shop now and get today's special offer. Fanatics.com, officially licensed everything. Waiting for our final semi-finalist for tomorrow. Auburn and Florida will get the day started. And earlier today, Bruce Pearl told his team it's about three things. The win, the net, and the ring. All access with the Auburn coach after his win against South Carolina. Listen, we're not Kentucky. <laughs> we're not Tennessee. We didn't get to recruit like them Florida guys. How does you guys all remember how Florida re gets recruited? Who do they recruit? They recruit bums. Uh huh? They don't recruit bums. All them, hey, every one of them dudes, they wanted more than they wanted anybody in here, right? I don't remember, Steve. You remember Florida ever ringing my our phone? No. Coach Flanagan. <laughs> Alan, Alan's in Florida ever after you? Ain't never called me. Coach. Ain't never called Alan. Rich, have you heard? From... Marquise, living right in the neighborhood. Florida ever call you? Florida, Florida, and Kentucky are kind of SEC royalty. Bring me there. About 18 hours before their semifinal game against Florida. Auburn looking to get back to the championship game. They snapped an 11 game losing streak against the Gators back on February 5th, forcing Florida into 17 turnovers in that one. That is going to be a heavyweight battle. Come to think of Florida didn't call me either. <laughs> Things in perspective. Well, they're not the only ones. <laughs> That's about that, didn't, that didn't separate them from the other 49 uh, states. And you keep performing uh, like this, ESPN might lose your number two. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Red Kentucky's got 31 titles. They are royalty. They are royalty. Right they are college basketball yes, royalty. They, are. they have earned that. Mm -hmm. Winning his program in NCAA history. Fulkerson with the rebound will reset it. Tennessee hasn't won the tournament since they restarted it in 1979. Now, to be Ooh. fair, some of Tennessee's great teams with Ernie and Bernie and all those guys, there wasn't a tournament going on at that time. But they had some good teams since then. Sure, no including Bruce Pearl's team. Yep. I have learned it is very difficult to win it if you don't play it. That's fair. That's, That's fair. fair, right? Yeah. Nearly impossible. Nearly impossible. It's just science. We got a sneaky good game here. Oh, really good. But we knew we would. I agree. Mississippi State hanging around, hanging around. I feel a spurt coming for one team or the other. You know, Andy, we, we talk about, you know, Tennessee gets the attention. It, get, it, it just feels to me that Mississippi State, if they can win this game, gives them something more than anybody's been talking about them all season long, right? I agree. I, I mean, agree. they are at an upper-level tier team, but they've just not had this kind of win that they need tonight. And they've got that guy. So. And let me tell you, at the end of the clock, there's nobody in the Southeastern Conference I would rather have the ball than Q Weatherspoon. Where he's gotten so good at it, his dribble is so low to the floor this season compared to last year. He was always a high ball dribbler in the past. Turner. Mm. Wow. Use up bucket. The rim. He almost went wedgie again. Yep. A little bit higher. Good soft touch by yeah. the shooter. Try to avoid those and the swirly birds. He's another guy that's really struggled with his shot. Q. Aggressive take. No whistle. And Turner will fan it out and ben, slow it down. And Ben Howler is right at halftime. Guys, they're not calling a whole lot of stuff. Williams oh, going oh, yellow. Wow. Ooh, with the left. 
incredible footwork by that big fella. Wow. This game has a feel of an NFL playoff game. You got to grind for every yard. Look at that move. One, two. He's been to the Tom Hart School of Dance. Right now at Belk, we invite you to share the bold, share the vibe, share the flirty. Shop this season's hottest new trends during our anniversary sale now at Belk. Hello, friend. Al Fernell here. I want to tell you about this box of Fernell's old folks' quick frozen country sausage patties. It's outstanding in its feel. Get a box of old folks' country sausage patties. Keep them frozen, and when you're ready, place the frozen patties in the skillet. It unlocks the flavor as it thaws and cooks. It's made right. Tastes like country sausage ought to taste. Keep Purnell's Old Folks Sausage in your freezer, and you're ready for a treat many times. Because it's good. Every time you swipe your card, your big bank is likely hurting the planet. And your wallet. Unfair fees. Your deposits funding oil drills and pipelines. You can do better. Make the switch from your big bank to Aspiration. Aspiration helps you spend and save with a conscience. With Aspiration, you'll pay zero fees at every ATM in the world, all while keeping your money safe and fossil fuel free. Join the nearly 1 million Americans who are making the move to save money and save the planet. Go to Aspiration.com. Right now at Belk, share the bowl during our anniversary sale with week-long doorbusters. Buy one, get one free women's crown and ivy apparel and 55% off select men's sportswear. Shop our anniversary sale going on now at Belk and Belk.com. 49-44, two of the best players in the SEC going head-to-head, -head, including Grant Williams, player of the year. As we're one block off Broadway, he's got the one-two step down to a science. Same thing, one, two, sideways, but look at the body control. Like a ballerina in midair. Wow, smooth. Here's the only bad news for Kondari Weatherspoon. Athletic training staff applying ice to his right calf. Seth Tisdale, their athletic trainer. Maybe cramping up a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, let's hope not. Maybe. A dozen for Q. Grant's got 14. The go-to players doing their thing with 12.05 to go in regulation. The winner gets Kentucky. First team all SEC players right there. And we're Stepping seeing up. why. Yeah, that's right. For more on what happened in the Tennessee huddle, let's check in with Alyssa. Guys, one of the more special things about this Tennessee team, in my opinion, is when they break during timeouts. Admiral Schofield is like an assistant coach. He talks just as much as Rick Barnes, making sure every single one of his guys understands whatever play Barnes just drew up, where they're supposed to be on the floor, what their responsibility is. He's very vocal in those huddles. This team, so this Tennessee team has been playing together for a long time. They were 500 club when Rick Barnes first got there and they've developed into a championship squad. Peters, what a feed. Runner for three. Physical game. Perry picks it up. There are no whistles. Hey, grown men are battling in that paint, my there friend. There are no whistles. And let me tell you, as a coach, you just want consistency. And I think we're getting it. It is a physical game. Grant Williams commits his third personal foul with 11.36 to go. sufferers your sense of smell is being censored so is your hearing and your sense of taste allergy congestion is dulling your ability to enjoy life fully now you can live uncensored with Nasacort. More effective than any antihistamine, Nasacort works at the source to stop more of the causes of your worst nasal allergy symptoms, including congestion, so you can regain your senses. Nasacort, live uncensored. Have you ever worked for Dr. Francis? Oh yeah, he's okay. Just okay? Guess who just got reinstated? Well, not officially. Nervous? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. I'll see you in there. Just okay is not okay, especially when it comes to your network. AT&T is America's best wireless network, according to America's biggest test. Now with 5G Evolution, the first step to 5G. More for your thing. That's our thing. 
SEC Network Basketball is brought to you by Zaxby's. Chicken fingers, buffalo wings, salads. Find a location at zaxby's.com. Fantastic matchup between Mississippi State and Tennessee to close quarterfinal Friday. Mississippi State trying to prove its seating in the NCAA tournament. They'll go back under Ben Hallen and Tennessee trying to nail down a one seed in the NCAA. Winner of this one gets Kentucky, also a possible one seed in the big dance. And then both Florida and Auburn trying to make waves. Florida was a bubble team coming into this thing. They've guaranteed their spot with a win over LSU earlier. So here's what Joe Lenardi has said. Those are his four ones coming into today. Virginia lost to Florida State. So the Seminoles are playing for an ACC title. And North Carolina and Duke might be swapping spots uh, on the one line. Duke has 16 from Zion. They lead by four. You think Kentucky fans want another shot at Duke? Or would they rather be on the other side of the bracket? I think they want another shot at Duke. I would love to see it. I'd love to see it in Minneapolis. And I bet John Calipari and Big Blue Nation would as well. Mm. We'd all like to see that. Pretty no good question. performance in, in Minneapolis. No question. This Kentucky team is not the same as played that night. Mm -mm. Reggie Perry, freshman from Thomasville, Georgia. McDonald's All-America, five-star recruit. He has blossomed into a sensational player for Mississippi State this year. A spot on the all-freshman team. Was a number one prospect in the state of Georgia coming out. They've had four straight years of all-freshman team. Q was on it, then Lamar Peters, Nick Witherspoon last year. This year, Reggie Perry. His father was an outstanding player at Mississippi State as well. Drive by Turner, finish, flushed by Alexander. Tennessee's opened up a five-point lead. Could have even been a pass, to be honest, when you're a guard and you see guys coming up. Just get it on the board somewhere. Biggest, biggest difference in the game, Tennessee plus 12 over Mississippi State off the offensive glass. That's Kyle Alexander's sixth offensive rebound. Adu can't finish yet, and the ball squirts out to Jordan Bone. Bone fouled in the open floor. So anytime you're a guard and you're penetrating and bigs come over, it may look like, I'm not even quite sure it was a shot. Sometimes you throw it across the board. We used to do that in the NBA when you played the Utah Jazz. If Mark Eaton, the big 7-4 center, came across, you put it on the glass for your teammates. To your point, Sonny, if that would have hit the rim, it would have been a much more difficult right. battle. And one for Schofield. You talk about difficult. There's a difficult finish. That guy's a big, strong driver. Great angle, absorbs the contact, eyes on the rim, and one. And that's contact from Reggie Perry. That's not just a bump. Yeah, that's not me and you. No, 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 no. It's no. a big man. Admiral Ooh. Schofield plays loud. He used to sleep loud. As a freshman, he had sleep apnea scoring so loud. Kyle Alexander would sleep with headphones on. Holy tonsil surgery. <laughs> so I can't deal with this. I mean, that's a bad roommate. <laughs> that is a bad roommate. That is a bad roommate for somebody to tell you that. <laughs> Who gives up that information? That's digging some stuff out. They're out of the club. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping with a headphone so <laughs> that can't be comfortable. <laughs> can't be good for your neck. Schofield gives it up to Bowden. Try to stop planes, Jordan Bowden. What they do extremely well is they make you move your feet as a defender. Fundamental they basketball. Put it to isn't it sunny? You like to see that two hard bounces to a strong pull up. Weatherspoon can't answer. Tennessee trying to build on their largest lead of the game. They had it where they want it. Q in the middle of the floor. Yeah, a little really bit did. of a settle on and, that and, three. And building ready to explode. Oh, yeah. I think he 
just gave Ronald Woodard sleep apnea. <laughs> we thought the building was ready. <laughs> Explosion. That's three plays in a row. Tennessee has made very powerful moves <laughs> offensively. <laughs> Grant's got the Vapors after that one. <laughs> He's got a strut, doesn't he? Yeah. Wow. Admiral Schofield, born in London. His dad oversees nearly a quarter century with the United States Navy. That is their first free throw attempt of the game. Peters had nowhere to go. Weatherspoon and a wall of orange and white. Bowden fouled by Peters. It's the third on Lamar Peters. You can tell Q's a little frustrated. Yeah. Dribbling into traffic. Yep. Thought his arm got held. But again, if there's no whistle, you've got to understand when you're going in a crowd against this ball team, there's three active players grabbing at that ball somehow to knock it free. No question. And the ball stayed on one side of the floor, which makes it much easier for the off-ball defenders to swarm to the ball off penetration. It got to 12 pretty quickly, didn't it? Yeah. And the building got loud pretty quickly, didn't it? I think those go hand in hand here. Eve Pines will return to the game for Tennessee. Bowden gets the break. Might want to bring earplugs tomorrow. I like the fact that Q has the ball, though. From Ben Howland, this is the guy that I want to have it. Turner nearly ripped it. Loose ball. Schofield on the ground. What hustle. They're Pines playing up. And Q's cramping up again. Hey, Lamonte Turner is one of the best on-ball defenders in this league. And he has settled down and sat down. And he got after Q right away. Ben Howland thought Gwendary Weatherspoon got fouled. Watch how active the feet are by Lamonte Turner. He wants to turn the bigger guy and look for opportunities. Look how quickly Schofield gets to the deck as well. I think that's what Ben Howland was saying. He thought Schofield may have pushed off to get to that ball. Great hustle, great effort by both teams. Loose ball is a free ball, right, Parker? No You're going question. At it. Most especially in a setting such as this. Mississippi State is out of timeouts at 9.20 to go. Wow. And Tennessee on a 14-2 run. What a second half for Tennessee. They crushed State with a fantastic second half on Rocky Top a week ago. And they've outscored them by seven since the intermission tonight. It was a 17 to four run last week to start the second half. And they held State to 54, their lowest point total this year, on just 33% shooting. That was back-to-back -back games where Tennessee held Kentucky to 52 and State to 54. Lamonte Turner. They love that action. Pinned down to a curl. Yep. Turner got it right in the middle of the lane. Struggling finish. Tyson Carter. Holman, jump ball. Holman did a great job of pursuing that offensive rebound, but as we've seen all night, nothing free at the rim. This volunteer, volunteer defensive team in effort. 
has just broken this building up. It's unbelievable. Made a couple of plays in the open floor, energized them. They are guarding at a different level in the last five minutes. Shot clock at nine. They left Bone alone. Holman. Answer. Needed that. And they're doing all this, guys, with Grant Williams, the reigning two time player of the year on the bench. Yeah. Resting Good point. Alexander to Bowden. Backbreaker. Good initial stop. Tennessee has been great off their offensive glass all night. Jordan Bowden gets it right back to 13. And different movement on different ends. Tennessee's got hard cuts offensively. Mississippi State, not so much. Peters banks it in. Tremendous finish. He's not nearly as good going right as right. he is left. That's a hard finish. He goes right a lot of times. He'll cross you back over for that jump shot. Or typically he'll go right to, 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 to pass. Good finish by him. He'll go right to the tavern. I'll go right, left. Pons quickly to Schofield. Shot like a three. Oh, oh goodness oh. gracious. Turn out the lights. Wow. You hit one like that. The weather spoon is cramping up. Yeah. He wants him to stop so he can exit. He's having issues. He'll get iced again with Mississippi State down 14. They might already be iced. The lead is 14. Let's take a look at playing with style. Brought to you by Belk. A style play for Tennessee. Off the charts. Admiral Schofield with the flush. The exclamation point on a dominating second half for the Volunteers, bringing the drama here off Broadway. Bowden doing his part. Schofield from deep and up close, and Tennessee is rolling. Call it what you will. The tee shot, the first strike, the big draw, or the high fade. Here, it's more. The determination of a legend, the ambition of an amateur, the push of the contender, and the will of the champion. It's the lane they all share for the place they all seek. All part of the drive. At the now you can buy faster and accelerate your deal on Auto Trader by putting car buying in the palm of your hand. Start your paperwork online. Choose from actual financing options and receive a real Kelly Blue Book trade-in offer to get a no-surprise monthly payment based on your information. Save time at the dealership when you start your deal online. Auto Trader. Buy faster. You know that expensive wash you always wanted? It only cost a fraction of the price to make. We thought that was crazy, so we made our own watch company. We created unique watch designs, launched online at fair prices, developed new styles, shipped to over 160 countries around the world, and created a community. Now, you don't have to overpay for a nice watch. Instead, join the movement. Shop now at MVMT.com. Sixty-five, fifty-one, Tennessee on top of Mississippi State near Music City, and we are almost set for the semis tomorrow. Carl Ravage, Jimmy Dykes, Dickie V, Laura Rutledge, and a cast of thousands. Florida and Auburn for game number one, and then Kentucky looking like the third matchup of the season against Tennessee. They've already met twice. The home team has won each of those meetings and it's shaping up to be another heavyweight battle. We welcome you back courtside Tom Hart, John Sunville, Andy Kennedy. You've seen both Kentucky and Tennessee tonight. If this score holds, who has the advantage? 
Uh, advantage? I'm not sure. It's going to be a heavyweight fight. It's going to be terrific because it's the third of three. They've each won one. The building will be electric. We've seen the Tennessee fans. We saw the Kentucky fans. It's going to be terrific. You, can, will somebody make a pick? I'm not I say pick them. Okay, pick them. Go ahead. That's my pick. Pick them. Go ahead. I, I think Kentucky was very, very impressive in the opener. Tennessee has been very impressive in the nightcap. We know who the wild card is. It's Reed Travis. There we go. He came back today. Yeah. That physical presence is obviously key against Tennessee. That could be the difference. And when they were at home in Lexington, he was a big reason why they won. Mississippi State playing with a sense of urgency. They want to be the team that matches up with Kentucky. They need to hurry. No question. I, hey, let's go prematurely kill off the Bulldogs need, very explosive group need some stops need to be disruptive so the Tennessee just can't simply run the offense they want to run Fulkerson short and if they are to come back it's probably going to be without Q Winnerspoon unless they can get a minute or two when he gets in Ooh. once in a while that was a bump by Peters they didn't get the whistle but they got the triple Two big plays by Peters, one off the assist, big three right there. And he can do it single-handedly. No question. I mean, he can do it We've seen it. We've seen it yes. in this tournament. Yes. 20 for Schofield gives him 38 in two games against State. The lead's back to 11. He's got a terrific defender on him who's really good playing the bounce. Peters from oh deep. And then a push-off. They're going to get Grant Williams. It'll be his fourth. Who didn't know that was coming? He just made two good plays. Mm -hmm. I gotta told you, Lamar Peters oh, yeah. is gonna probably try to rhythm dribble you into a pull-up. Pretty yep. good look, in and out. Williams will take a seat. Fulkerson was trying to enter. Can't play with six anymore. Coleman. and was able to draw the foul. Number two on Kyle Alexander. I like the aggressiveness. I do too. Attack, I like, play downhill. I like this player. Boy, he's strong, physical player, big body. Freshman from mm -hmm. Columbus, Mississippi. His dad was also an outstanding player at Mississippi State. Do you ever catch a theme there? They've had a lot of guys whose fathers have laid the groundwork. I like it. I like it. This kid's going to be a tremendous player. He's had a good freshman year. Yeah, his dad was Richard Williams' first recruit. From Holka, Mississippi. Richard Williams now on the radio. That's right. Took him to the final four. The legacy is a key part of this Mississippi State team. Sonny, if we followed our dads, we'd be selling lumber. <laughs> That's exactly right. To the lumberyard, Danny. At least you could do it in the light. My dad was an electrician. <laughs> Thank him for all his hard work. Shot clock at 10. Five minute mark. Turner had a tip from behind by Peters. Out to the lefty. The bounce to Holman. And Bowden fouled him before Holman took it up. And Ben Howland says, now you call it. I got a guy right at the rim. You're going to call it on the floor. Life of a coach. Three straight possessions for the Volunteers with nothing. It allows Mississippi State get it, to get back in this game. When Derry Weatherspoon back on the floor, he's been battling cramps. He iced up both tabs after asking out of the game a few minutes ago. Alexander absolutely swallowed that one up, and he kept it in play. Got to be careful here. Yep. Two big bodies, high emotional game. Perry and Schofield still talking. Schofield waving them off, and Perry just got teed up. As did Schofield. They, they pointed both ways. They'll go double T, so there's not any harm, any foul. What's impressive is if we could see that again, what led to the block was Schofield just, just put his face <laughs> right in the middle of the action. What kind of led to some of this emotion? Right here, you see the drive, but watch Schofield. He just sticks his face in there, allowing Kyle Alexander to come over and get the easy block. But this is this is the attitude 
that Tennessee has had this season though right yes. I mean they have a swagger to them and again we said it they've left their mark in many places and they keep doing things and then Schofield got right in there. Yeah there's nothing I don't think there's anything to that they're going to double team them both no harm no foul don't do it again let's play on. You talked earlier before we started this broadcast about Admiral Schofield and this Tennessee team marking their territory throughout the league. They don't back down from anybody. They love to do it, especially on the road. This is what earned Schofield the wave off. And then the chatter continued, and boom, boom. Nope, we got both of them. Alexander was lucky he didn't pick up a technical at the front end of that when he spiked the yeah, ball. Right, yeah, the right line. away, right away. They could have easily teed it there. That would have ended a lot of the other stuff. So it's the third personal on Perry and Schofield second. They're just making sure the officials are just making sure that they didn't miss anything. A lot going on out there. No harm, no foul. And remember, Perry got the common foul and the technical. He was frustrated after getting blocked. They're going to shoot one and one after the common foul on Perry. Did we not get uh, did we not get double technical we got triple technicals there was three technicals called and there was also a common foul so there's going to be the technical shot then they're going to go back to the one and one so was there a technical there, there was a, there was a there was a technical on Alexander yeah. and on Schofield one on Perry so instead of a push right. Mississippi State will shoot the technical right and then there's a common foul so then Tennessee will come down and shoot the one and one because that's a 17 foul on Mississippi State. So these will be this will be the technical from Darren Weatherspoon six in the league and shooting at the line. Here's what's interesting. He, his calves are cramping up. This is not easy as a free throw shooter when you get on your toes. It doesn't go with you. Let's see how he releases the ball. Pretty flat for a good call. See, I mean, it's a weird feeling when you his, heel, his heels never ro yep. rose up off the floor. Yep. And you could tell the shot's a little flat. That's better. Trusted it. It yeah. was trust. I don't think he wanted to trust it the first time. So now we'll go back. 17 one foul, one. one and one, play on. You know, guys, what's interesting, when I look at uh, Wooder and I look at Perry, that reminds me of a Grant Williams in a Schofield a couple years ago, right? They're getting a couple lessons tonight, but they just have that same look how these guys from Tennessee looked a few years ago. Big, strong. Woodard's got some versatility that maybe he could turn into an Admiral Schofield. Yeah. And I remember. It wasn't too long ago that I coached in this league, and before Rick Barnes got here, Admiral Schofield was a freshman on this Tennessee team, strictly as a four-man. Right. And as he evolved into a three where he and Grant could play together, yeah. that's where this team really took off. Yep. Came in under Donnie Tindall. And the di other difference between the two freshman classes that you guys are copying is that Tennessee didn't play in the tournament. Mississippi wow. State will have that experience. Here's Alexander. That's the same play on the other side. Low Pin down, step down, curl. Help up by the screener for Mississippi State leaves an uncontested shot at the basket. It has hurt them all night. Big bucket at the right time. Holman will let it fly. Got it. He's got a great stroke. He really does. Ben does a good job, too, of putting him in isolation, pick and pop, yeah. where you can't help let him get a look at the basket. So better, after all better that, that than on the post. It's only an eight point game. Holman picks up Bone. Shot like a 10. Holman's good enough to stay down and then just play the ball at the shot. Alexander back to back buckets. Captain Obvious has got another point, Tom. You know what's incredible? It's what makes Tennessee so dangerous moving forward, and it's what have made them a, a, really a great team all year. They're doing all of this without Grant Williams on the floor. Back out of the game, they've got so many other options. Holman, jump hook. Holman's got five straight taking over the senior yep sense of urgency regardless of how this game ends this is going to do wonders for him moving into the NCAA tournament four and double figures for Tennessee 
Schofield 20, Alexander 16, Williams 14, Bowden 10. And Kyle Alexander, the senior from Milton, Ontario, getting the Tennessee bench up and in the action. One fly, we all fly. That's their motto. It's a team playing fun and loose and trying to play into the semis. I think I found my dream car. It turns out they want me to start next month. She can stay with you to finish her senior year. Things will be tight, but we can make this work. Now. Grandpa, what about your dream car? This is my dream now. <laughs> Principal, we can help you plan for that. A hand-breaded filet with sweet honey butter and smoky bacon. Introducing the new honey butter and bacon filet sandwich for a limited time, only at Zaxby's. And don't miss Shazam. Shazam! Wait, PG-13. Experience it in IMAX. Stretch of a dramatic day in Nashville. Andrew Nemhard in Florida. Bounce LSU. And Mike White's team into the NCAA tournament will try to play for a championship. Jared Harper was sensational for Auburn. The Tigers able to pull away from South Carolina. They make 13 threes, single season SEC record. And then game number three of the day, the first of our nightcap, saw Kentucky put it to Alabama. 73-55 in our third quarter final. Everything was working right for Kentucky, including the return of Reed Travis. High drama in the Music City, and still 3.17 to go in this one. Game number one tomorrow, Florida and Auburn at 1 o'clock. Kentucky awaits the winner of this one. How do we handicap Florida and Auburn? I think it's going to be a heck of a battle. Florida. Tempo, tempo, pace, all that stuff. Yeah, no question. Obviously, Auburn's going to try to play fast and furious, shoot the three, spread the floor. But I think Horace Spencer has been tremendous for yeah. Auburn as of late, giving them a presence inside. Him and Kavarius Hayes will be an interesting matchup. And then Florida, per Mike White, may have played their best 40 minutes of basketball today. What an impressive effort by the Gators. I even saw Mike White smile today. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did you capture it on film? <laughs> and then it didn't happen. Fair. They do a great job of controlling the pace of the, every game they've been in. Grant Williams is back. Been sitting a long time. Yeah. Not quite as long so as me. I was about to say, I hope his chair's more comfortable. Been <laughs> <laughs> there in Weatherspoon, less than 100%. Peters over mm, foul. And one. Oh. It was right on line. We had a good view. Good challenge late to that shot. I actually thought the whistle blew. I did too. I mean, I thought the referee had a hand on and whistled, but he had a hand on the three. I thought the referee whistled too. I thought the whistle blew. the and one. But it's been a long day for me, so yeah, I thought maybe I'm here. I heard the same thing. You had <laughs> sonar, you would have picked it up. That's right. Where's the porpoise when you need her? Coleman. You better get to him. They were running him off the baseline the last play. So Ben Allen's going to him, but then you know why. He's got a great stroke. Four no threes question. tonight for the big. That was an NBA three off the initial catch. Guys, we got a seven-point game. Turner to Williams. It's a nine-point game now. They better figure that play out. Yeah, they really should. It's a single pin down. Because Rick Barnes keeps running it time and time again. To both sides of the floor, and it's been effective every time. Mississippi State has made shots that just haven't gotten stops. Shot clock. Weatherspoon gets the ball. Let's say it was on the floor. It's on Bowden, his second. Groundhog Day for Tennessee. There we go. Ball screen roll to the naked side. Grant Williams. 
they lift the other side up so the defensive players aren't there to help. Well, there's zero help side when you can get a screen at that, at that level yep. of the floor. Their own ball defense versus the ball screen was a little late. Tennessee makes some pay. 14 for Quindary Weatherspoon. He has not made a three tonight. He is 0 for 4. You've got to extend your pressure right now. Try to turn Tennessee over. Yeah. Unfortunately, you don't make the free throw, so you can't get set in your press. State down eight needs a stop. 120 to go, and Peters will stop the clock with his fourth personal. Tennessee very good in late game situations because they handle the ball well. They shoot free throws at a high percentage. 76 as a team. Bone goes there at 80%. And, they, and most everybody on the floor, Coach Barnes, is comfortable handling the ball. Yeah. So you've got five guys to spread the floor in the half court. Tough team to come back against. And they're all movement kind of guys, right? They don't stand. Jordan Bone from the Ensworth School right here in Nashville. His dad, Josh, a sheriff's deputy here in Davidson County. How back cool, home uh -huh. in a big game. How cool of it to come back home and play oh, be in awesome. this environment. Be awesome. Well, maybe we'll ask him after the game, can we get his dad's number? We might need it. Holman! Wow! He's got his number tonight. 19 for the senior from Owensboro, Kentucky. And Man. that was from John Sunbow range. <laughs> Magic Johnson was writing his name down. I just oh, turned around. Wow. It's got a little got a little Kevin Durant release, doesn't he? Lamar no, Peters Weston. just fouled out. That is a deep look shot. Deep. Look at that. And look at this release. Boom. He wants to keep playing. Tell me his confidence won't be high going next week in the NCAA. No question. He was one of Ben Howland's first recruits. Coach Howland gets the job, signs this kid in the spring from Kentucky, as you said earlier, Tom. And they said he'd be, he'd be a terrific post player. He said, Coach, I like to play outside. That's right. I like to. I, I don't like my back to the basket. <laughs> I face up really well. It's like me. I don't like my back to the door. I want to see the door. <laughs> You never know who's going to walk in or out. Bone's been clutched from the free throw line in the last few minutes. But to your point, Sonny, it's just hard to come back because they all make free throws and yeah. they're all strong with the ball. Tennessee's probably one stop away from, from salting this away. Holman waiting on the right wing. Now he'll... Get into the paint. Too much clock. Tennessee yeah. with zone clock. changed the look. That's what's got to confuse. First possession of the game. Rick Barnes goes zone. Slows Mississippi State's rhythm down. Then Grant Williams will foul out. Yeah. That's He'll, okay. Yeah. Jordan Bone trying to make sure. That's what he's telling. That's okay. We're going to live to fight another day. Don't pick up an unnecessary technical based off of motion. The other part that's good. Williams has had foul trouble tonight. He doesn't have a lot of minutes. That's good for tomorrow. That's right. Should have live legs. Yep. You know, we talked about that six days since Tennessee's played. Kyle Alexander looks a lot more lively. Yeah, he did. Uh, really good. Active. Schofield, he could play another game tonight. Turner. Looked, <laughs> it doesn't matter to him. This Turner, guy Turner, Turner looked good. Bowden looked good. They just had a little spring to their step. First free throw attempt of the night for Holman. He'll get another chance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nine points in the last three and a half minutes for Eric Holman. It's his fourth 20 point game of the season. Rebound, Tennessee. And Carter will quickly foul. So Lamonte Turner to the free throw line. First free throws of the night. He has not taken a free throw in the last four <laughs> ball games, which is amazing. Wow. Yeah. Speaks to some of his, you know, his shooting issues because he's lost some aggression. Yes, and he's settled for off balance, deeper jump shots. Deficit is nine. Clock says 37. Perry with a long two. 
Bowden with the board, and Tennessee looks comfortable here late. Carter will stop the clock with his third foul. 29 seconds remain. Admiral Schofield can feel it. So can Vol Nation. And it sets the stage for the third matchup of the season for Kentucky and Tennessee. And since we've been in town on Tuesday, what have people talked about? Sure hope Tennessee and Kentucky meet again. I heard a lot of them talking about Andy Kennedy. <laughs> Bone money from the line. Impressive performance by Tennessee earlier by Kentucky. It's going to be an epic rubber match. Kentucky's won the last four SEC tournament titles. They won the first matchup, the uh, first title, I should say, in 1933 in Atlanta when Herbert Hoover was still the president. Carter, no drama there. State gets it deep to Perry. Tennessee hasn't won the SEC tournament since 1979. In addition to a birth of the championship game that'll be on the line tomorrow between Tennessee and Kentucky, there's also a little thing called a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. And with that comes favorable geographic location for your postseason hopes. Another issue that Rick Barnes and I talked about the other day he said, listen, we play our championship game on Sunday in this league. It gives us great television exposure. It's good for the conference. However, if you have to turn around and play again on Thursday, it can be a disadvantage to tired bodies this time in the league. You would hope that as a one seed, the committee would protect you in that regard. It doesn't always happen, though, and that's why the Big 12 moved their championship game to Saturday for that same reason years ago. That has been a topic of conversation every year at the spring meeting for the coaches in the SEC. But there's uh, one factor that we can't control, and thank goodness we can. It's called TV. And I like the TV aspect of it a little more for the window of Championship Sunday. Yeah. Gwendaria Weatherspoon with the bucket. The selection committee has said in years past, at that point, we don't really take the championship game into consideration that much. And right. this year, it's probably not a factor because the one seed will likely be decided in the semis. Weatherspoon at the line. So you're saying they'll have plenty of time to calculate everything. Yeah. Tennessee pulls away from Mississippi State in the second half. The Volunteers shoot 52% in this game, 46% from three in a physical matchup. The Volunteers able to take advantage of a limited Mississippi State roster and injuries to Quindary Weatherspoon. A rematch with Kentucky tomorrow. Auburn of Florida will start at 1 o'clock Eastern. Ravi, Jimmy, Dickie V, and Laura will have both games for you and then Kentucky and Tennessee to follow. Alyssa Lang standing by with Tennessee's head coach, Rick Barnes. Coach, it's been almost a week since your team had played. They came out, they got a hard-fought win. What did you think about their performance tonight? Well, I thought it would be a really hard-fought game. I've got a lot of respect. We have a lot of respect for Mississippi State and what they do. And the fact is, we grinded it out. And uh, Grant, without him, really, we, when we really got control of the game, he was on the bench. And uh, great win for us. It really was. Your third matchup with Kentucky tomorrow. Grant didn't get a lot of minutes tonight. How will that factor in? with for you guys tomorrow I hope it can but you know again uh, we'll go back don't have much time obviously but we know each other and we expect to be a really hard fought game and uh, very physical game and we'll see thanks coach right, thank you so Rick Barnes and this Tennessee program two wins away from their first SEC tournament title in 40 years Barnes and his team will get ready for Kentucky the rematch tomorrow 83-76 is a final Mississippi State can head back to Stark Vegas watch on selection Sunday and they have a chance to be an underseeded team if you're looking for value. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, that's a team that can play with anybody in the country. Um, saw some good things tonight, some things they got to work on, but uh, 
terrific season for the Bulldogs. This will not hurt their seed no. whatsoever. They're actually playing really good basketball heading into the NCAA tournament. Reggie Perry had his ninth double-double to lead the way for State. Meanwhile, Tennessee with five and double figures. It's sent it to our quads in double figures, led by their point guard, Dari. Gentlemen. All right, guys, thank you very much. Pat Bradley, Antoine Walker with me. Tennessee moves on to what will be a third meeting against Kentucky in the span of one month. It was February 16th, the first time they played. They'll meet for a spot in Sunday's championship game on March 16th. Right now, we heard from Rick Barnes. Now we hear from the leadership here, the player leadership of the Tennessee Vols, Grant Williams and Admiral Schofield. And I'll start with you, Grant, in this one. This, from up here, this felt like an intense, physical, almost NCAA tournament or conference tournament championship type of game. What was it like down on the floor against these guys? It's competitive. Um, these guys are talented. They're a talented team, well-coached team. So we expected a lot from them. We didn't expect what we, we got in Knoxville. So we were just prepared to go out there and fight. And it was a, a good matchup. AD, you're up 10 points at some point. Critical moment. You decide to stick your face in there, talk some trash to the opposing <laughs> team. What did you say? I, sh I honestly didn't say anything. I think oh. it was because I, I, I pushed him, you know, to get him away from Kyle. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm going to stand up for my teammates. Uh, and uh, I, I think in that situation, you know, I could have did things differently. But at the same time, you know, we have a, a, a aura of, our, of ourselves and a reputation to uphold. And, and that's toughness. And at the same time, we're not going to go out here and get punked. But at the same time, <laughs> You know, you got to give credit to them. They came out to fight, and like you said, it was a March Madness type game, and you know that's that's the type of feel it was on the floor. It was a tough game. Like guys, it. talk about a little bit about you guys had six days off. It seemed like y'all was much more energetic, especially defensively. A couple guys that have been struggling, Kyle and, and Jordan, that came in. They played really well today. Tell me about those six days off before you get on the court today. Well, we got back to competing. We didn't take those days off. We got some hard practices in, and uh, we had to maintain our legs, but we also had to keep our wind up. So we competed that, and we got better on defense during practice. And look at guys like Lamonte Turner, who's really bought in, man. You think about it, the old Lamonte Turner last year was scoring 12, 20, whatever he needed to do. But now for this team, he's been the best defender in the league. Oh, yeah. He's Big been the guy who's picking up guy full, full court, turning guys over. Think about the, the thing we had four straight stops. And he was the, he was because of him. Yeah, he set that tone. He really did, and it's big for us. And uh, you know, we've been, coach been preaching it to him for four years, but you know, this year he really locked in on that for us. And you know, we, we think he can be the, one of the best on-ball defenders in the country, and he, he really shows it at times. But we need that consistency from him throughout this postseason. So if he can do that for us, you know, it really energizes us, especially Kyle Alexander yeah, right. on the boards and you know, scoring like he did tonight. We don't need scoring from him, but ten boards a game—that's big for us. And you know. I mean, his energy it impacts our, our, and our rhythm and everything. So. When he does both, we're hard to beat. We're he has 16-9 to tonight. Oh, yeah. This place was loud, and it was loud throughout. There was one particular moment that you provided, my friend, <laughs> that the roof darn near came off. Let's watch it. You watch it with us. It may well, just we'll be the dunk of the year. Should be number one on SportsCenter. All of the above. Take me through this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is just unkind. Oh, his Rude. family is watching, Sco. How you going to do that? a freshman. You don't duck on a freshman like that. Yeah, he's, a, he's a big time competitor. You know, at the same time, I got to be aggressive. Uh, I got a big body. I got to use it. But uh, showing my athleticism a lot more this postseason. That's you ain't getting no my shake. Team. No a, this might be the you best part. No Look at, at Grant. Hold <laughs> me. Hold me. Hold me. I almost fainted, man. I almost fainted. Jelly, what did you say to him after that? I didn't say anything. I just made my, you know, my normal jelly face. That, that's <laughs> I, I, I showed him I said, I so, a little baby. <laughs> I'll say this. All year long, there was a dunk that you guys had that I've been saying is the SEC dunk of the year. I haven't been willing to come off that stance. This is it. You guys are going to have to tell me which one's better. We're going to play this one for you. This is my favorite. Woo. On the <laughs> inbounds against Vandy, Jordan Bowden getting sick. Which one's better? I got to give it to Bowden. Hey, look, really? He's humble. He's good team, humble. Good team, man. Good team, He's man. supposed to be biased. I think both were in I'm going to be Let me tell you why. Because Vandy came out to play us. Time and score, right? They came out to play us, and that, that play right there changed the whole game. Hey, it that changed is the true. Whole game. That is true. But if I'm going with no idea of what the <laughs> game was, Admiral took off from outside or close to the SEC off one yeah. foot. And finished the right. It was the same foot, same hand. I'm going for Admiral. I'm sorry. You are? <laughs> you are. There you go. Fair enough. Uh, you, all right. Last thing before we get you out of here. Um, Kentucky. Two games so far. They handled you. You handled them. How much do you look forward 
to round three. Well, I, speaking for myself, it's been a great rivalry for four years coming from me, but at the same time, you know, this team is very different. Um, I think Keldon Johnson is a big, big difference maker for them. Uh, he's a tough kid, man. And I love competing against him. He brings the best out of me, especially Tyler Harrow. It's going to be a good matchup. You know, they got Reed Travis back, uh, both fan bases, you know, going at it. Uh, you know, bad blood between the two a little bit, but it's a rivalry, you know, and we enjoy it, and I'm pretty sure they enjoy it. At the same time, you know, we're playing for a championship. So uh, it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a physical game. It's just, you know, who wants it more, and, you know, we got to compete. We got to go out and compete. Maybe playing for a one seed, too. That's just out there. I know you guys aren't supposed to worry about that. We'll talk about that. Thanks, Great guys. stuff, guys. Thanks Thank so much you. for coming. Congrats. 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 Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. There it is. Round three coming your way. Second game of the day tomorrow on ESPN. I forgot to ask him, peanut butter and jelly, who's the toast? <laughs> Mississippi State bone. was toast tonight. <laughs> Okay, good, good, you good. A lot of fans are hanging around watching these two depart from our set. So Florida, Auburn in the first semi, Tennessee, Kentucky in the second semi. All right, boy, good luck, boy. Look at Grant hanging out, signing a few autographs. Andy Kennedy going to take the place of peanut butter and jelly. We'll call him the bread. How's that sound? Good job, Grant. And there you go. <laughs> Great fans here, too, man. This is a really cool moment. And what we are going to get at a roughly 2.30 local time tomorrow Ooh, buddy. is going to be, it's going to feel like the final. It's going to feel like a Final Four. Wow. Just, World. I cannot wait. World War Three, the rubber match. I cannot wait. Well, you're going to have to wait. Just I don't want to wait. For 14 hours. I don't want to wait. <laughs> oh, by the wait. way, by the way, I just want to say, you all need to keep excelling at your job because at some point these guys might want to go into television and they're both going to be dynamite. I'm just telling you. Long NBA careers. Don't <laughs> yeah. worry about that. That's some point a long time away. Let's go SEC now.